welcome Team Awesome, Jackson Bird, Dessa Darling, Rainbow Rowell, and John Scalzi. They came ready to play, ladies and gentlemen. And now welcome Team Badass, Storm DiCostanzo, Kevin R. Free, Sarah Mackey, and Mara Wilson. Oh, the smack talk has started early, ladies and gentlemen. This is how this is going to work. Each team will first get one minute opening statements. Then they will each get one minute for their opening arguments. They will then have one minute total for a conference to build their rebuttals. Each team then gets a one minute rebuttal. And then each team gets two minutes each for closing statements. At that time, we will determine the winner of the debate by audience noise vote. <laughs> Teams, are you fully prepared? Yeah. Audience, are you ready to hear some goddamn debates? <laughs> then let us kick right into our first topic of debate. Boy, we're solving some of the world's problems today, ladies and gentlemen. To be debated, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or sock, shoe, sock, shoe? <laughs> we flipped a coin backstage earlier, and Team Awesome will be opening. Team Awesome, please sit forward your opening topic. So you wake up in the morning and you have a holistic view of the world. In your holistic view of the world, do you put on one side of your bra and then one side of your shirt, then the other side of your bra and the other side of your shirt? Do you put on one side of your underwear and one side of your pants and then the other side of your underwear and the other side of your pants? No, of course you don't. That would be foolish. <laughs> that would be silly. And that would be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the question before us. Sock, sock, shoo, shoo, or sock, shoo, sock, shoo. Think holistically. Think symmetrically. Think sock, sock, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Every 12 seconds, a person slips while wearing socks. Every seven minutes, a sock dies. Every 12 minutes, someone's bare foot gets dirty, or worse, cold. Last year, Lars Gunderson of Brainerd, Minnesota, slipped on ice while trying to escape a fire while wearing socks, broke his leg and died in a snowbank of hypothermia, probably. <laughs> we, on the Sock Shoe Sock Shoe Society, or <laughs> we stand for three values. Economy. Integrity and safety. Thank you. <laughs> if Team Awesome can get its panties unbunched for a moment, <laughs> we will point out to the baiters there is a clock there on the floor. From this point forward, anyone going over time, I shall raise my hand and you all shall make an obnoxious buzzer noise. Please practice. <laughs> that said, for your opening argument, Team Awesome, you have an extra four seconds. What? Slip, slip, shoes, it's physics, come on! <laughs> Team Awesome, now please bring forward your next argument. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, nature has given us a microphone and a 
method <laughs> to determine who is fit in an evolutionary sense, and that method is symmetry. Symmetry tells us who is healthy, who has the good genes, who is a good mate. Okay? We maximize our time that we are symmetrical. We put on our socks first. We spend some time symmetrically, and then when we are ready to leave the house, we put on our shoes. <laughs> to do otherwise is ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. And I wouldn't want to walk one mile in your shoe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the shoe gauntlet has been thrown. principles. Safety. There are slipping concerns when you are wearing only socks, and we are all familiar with the experience of wiping out and hitting your butt in an embarrassing fashion. If you are fleeing an emergency in socks only, there is no way for you to save yourself. If you are wearing one sock and one shoe, you can hop <laughs> to safety. Economy. First of all, there is the economy of motion. If you are already in a position where you are putting on your sock, you're right there. Why would you put your leg down and lift up the other leg? Economy of motion and economy of sock purchases. If you are wearing only socks, your socks are going to wear out at a completely unreasonable pace. Put your shoes on, save yourself some money. And finally, integrity. You want to maintain the integrity of your socks. Let your socks live the lives they were destined to live. <laughs> One minute to put together their rebuttal arguments, during which we shall now all sing the Jeopardy theme. <laughs> da, 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 da. Just a couple seconds remaining on the clock. Team Awesome, are you prepared now to present your rebuttal? Too bad because you've got to do it right now. Has, has Team Badass even ever worn socks? Can I just ask this first? Okay, they bring up the issue of sliding. You can slide in socks. Sure, sometimes you can, but would we have the greatest movie moments of all time in our history? Risky business! Now also, I want to let you know, sure, there, there can be some safety issues in wearing socks and shoes, but it's not from just wearing socks. It is from wearing one sock and one shoe. If you are putting on your socks and your shoes and there's an emergency, a fire comes in your house, you are going to be in much more trouble if you are having to hop. You would hop out of an emergency. No, no, no. You need to be on even feet. And they say this Lars figure who, who died in a sock-related slipping accident, we looked that up. That is libel. Lars did not die because he, he didn't put his shoes on correctly. He did not have shoes. And I would ask Team Badass to check their privilege. <laughs> Took only three rounds into the first debate for the first privilege check. Who had, who had the over-under on that? Team Badass, your rebuttal, please. First off, I'd like to note that they just cited a movie called Risky Business. <laughs> we are not in this for looks. We don't care how we look. We are here for safety and to save lives. And if that makes us terrible people, there we have it. <laughs> Holistics are terrific. Holistic medicine is fine if you have a cold. But if you have a heart attack, 
you would prefer a physician. <laughs> and finally, it is not natural at all. A sock is a hole in and of itself, I would point out. And finally, it is not natural, and even if it were, one does not get an ought from an is. David Hume. <laughs> Team Awesome, you will have two minutes for your closing argument. We've heard a lot of strong opinions tonight, <laughs> a lot of shenanigans, and I think we talk about this now in a civilized, calm way. Who do you want to be in this life? Do you want to be the sort of person who just goes around getting half-dressed, eating half your breakfast, brushing half your teeth? Or do you want to be the sort of person who does one thing well before you move on to the next task? Do you want to sit down to breakfast and butter one half of your toast and eat it and then, no, the butter would be cold by then. We need to focus. We need to focus on what we're doing, especially in the morning when we're getting dressed. We want to start our day off well. You put both of your socks on, and then you put your shoes on. Because if you don't, you look like a dork. <laughs> I feel that Team Badass has a fundamental misunderstanding of socks. <laughs> they may be from California, I don't know. one at a time, and then we go out and we kick ass. Thank you very much. Let me please remind both teams to keep these arguments civil. We don't need any accusations of California dome. <laughs> you have had your chance to speak, sir. Sit down, sir. <laughs> Team Badass. You have the floor for your closing statements. Thank you. I am wearing an oversized bow tie. It is orange and blue. My jacket is orange. My belt is orange and blue. My shoes are blue. My shoelaces are orange. I have no problem, and I bet many of you have no problem looking like a dork. <laughs> Janis Joplin sang a song called Half Moon. Do you understand my point? <laughs> Half is okay. I also would like to uh, quote Rob Reiner, who played Meathead in All in the Family. He and Archie were arguing about sock shoe, sock shoe, sock sock, shoe shoe, and Meathead said to him, if, it, if there's a fire and it's snowing outside, you put on a sock and a shoe, you can hop around and stay dry while you're putting on the other sock and shoe. <laughs> California dumb. <laughs> so I need you to help me out, ladies and gentlemen. We want to stay alive. We want to stay secure. We want to have integrity. When I say sock, you say shoe. Sock. Shoe. Sock. When I say sock, you say shoe. Sock. Shoe. Shoe. You say shoe. Sock. Shoe. for the critical and difficult decision for you folks to make. As a reminder, your choices are... <laughs> you are not helping your cause, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a reminder before we vote, Team Awesome's argument has been for 
Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Team Badass has been for sock, shoe, sock, shoe. So I will ask you now to vote by noise, applause, and whatever sort of squeeing and wooing you people make these days. Please vote if you agree with Team Awesome. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. If you agree with Team Badass, Sock Shoe, Sock Shoe! Team Badass, I am sorry, but it does appear that Team Awesome has won!